Mike Meyer, and I'm here to talk to you today about our new S550 lower control arms. They have the tension links, and it has the lateral links. Tension links are more like a strut rod, that's what we called them back in the day, and then we also have the control arms that go inboard towards the center of the K-member. Let me show you some of these components. The original tension link for uh, S550 Mustang is this guy right here. It goes from about the side of the radiator back to the spindle. When you step on the brakes, this is what keeps the front control arms or the front wheel from collapsing back. So this huge bushing in here is what takes all that load and tries to keep the front suspension aligned appropriately. What we did, this thing's also quite heavy, we made our own arms. This is a disassembled one. This is a tension link. You can see it's about the same length. But what we do is we run a monoball bearing. This, the rate, load rating on this is pretty epic. It obviously is much more compact. It also does not deflect like this tension link does under heavy braking. So what that basically means for you is when you're coming into a turn hard and you want to stand on those brakes, the big thing you want is you want those wheels to be aligned and controlled as you enter the turn. The MMI tension link does that. It keeps everything square and under control under heavy braking. It gives you a real positive feel and you know exactly where the front of the car is when you're about to hit that turn. The other thing we have is our control arm or lateral link. I'm here to show you a couple of them. This is the MMI lateral link. Here is a standard GT lateral link and what you notice about this has a rubber bushing, a standard ball joint, and it also has no potentiometer mount in the center for some of the newer, uh, say, Shelby GT350Rs or track pack cars. They have a, a rotary potentiometer to tell the chassis where it is in heave, or you know when the car sets or rolls or whatever. This is a track pack arm. It has an inner bearing. It articulates really nice. It also has the mount for the rotary potentiometer. This here is the MMI arm. Again, we reduce friction by running a good monoball bearing on both sides. One of the things that I had noticed when we were using ours is we actually lost a ball joint pretty quickly on our new Mustang. Um, so, what we did was again, we utilized a really, really universally great monoball bearing. And what this does, this really cleans up and frees up movement. And you still, on the track pack guys, can use your rotary potentiometer mounts. These kits come with all the appropriate spacers to be able to adapt it right to your car. This stud here takes the place of the tapered ball joint. You run this stud into your spindle, and then you'd slide over the MMI assembled arm. You get the arms assembled, they're not going to be all blown apart like this. But the really cool thing I like about this, I'm a fiddler, I like to mess around with it a bit. So if I get another idea, I can change the spacing on my stud, change my front suspension geometry to my needs. Or I can mess it up and learn. But the great thing is you can also buy it, just bolt it on, and greatly improve the stability of your car when you're hitting the autocross or just canyon carving or just you want improve stability under heavy braking and turn in. So check out the MMI tension link and lateral links on our website at MikeMeyerInc.com. Follow us on Facebook, Mike Meyer Inc., or check us out on Instagram, and you can see all this product in action at the track on the street.